Hi, I'm Hansi and I'm here to talk about how you can make more money. If you have seen my previous video, you know that a very easy way to think about your wealth is to look at a house. If you haven't seen that video, please pause this video right now and look at that one. Now that you understand the concept of building a house, let's get started. I've got some stickies, I've got a pen, and we start making a list. All the things you own and all the things you owe on them. The most important asset you have is the ability to earn an income. Ability to earn, what is that worth? Well, we don't know exactly, but you can estimate that based on the number of years you have to work, 25 years. Take that and you stick it in your foundation. But remember, you need to feed that. You need to live, you need to clothe, that goes in there as well. You do a minus sign and do basic expenses. You put that right next to it. You also need to think about what if something goes wrong with your ability to earn an income. So you need to insure. You need three types of insurance, health insurance, disability insurance, and you need life insurance. Whatever insurance you have, you put the value of it and you put that next to that. List all the other assets you own that should go into the foundation. Your house, X dollars, and what you owe on it, Y dollars. to always keep increasing your ability to earn an income. Courses or learning. In my case, I went back every few years and took 10% of my income that year and did a course. You put X dollars and you put that on one of your pillars. The other pillar is your investment portfolio. Shares, or mutual funds, all growth assets. If you own any bonds or rental property, your income assets, what are they worth? Put that on your income slab. And then remember your fund roof. All the money you have in your own business, your hobbies, sailing anyone? Once you've made a list of all of these things, and by the way, there is a cheat sheet available on my website which you can download and write all your assets and liabilities on that one sheet. Notice where the gaps are. If a lot of your assets are concentrated on the foundation, you could say that your foundation is bigger than usual. If you notice that there isn't much in investment in your ability to earn an income, or for that matter, your mutual fund or share portfolio, maybe you're missing some pillars. Your house looks a little bit unbalanced. In some cases, people have pillars all right, but they don't have a roof. They're not having fun in life. At this stage, the point of the exercise is simply to understand what your house looks like, i.e. how much of your assets do you have in very safe assets, how much in growth assets, and how much in your high risk, high return assets. Once you understand your goals better, we can then reshape the house. If you like my common sense way of explaining things, check out my website, themoneyhunts.com for more videos and articles. Or you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn.